all, all of us write, right? On LinkedIn, we all have articles and things like that that we consider original. And we, we have content that we develop. And Solutions Review is, is, is part of this, right? Um, developing what is, what is original content mean? And how does it affect creators? I mean, you know, you have these the things like in Hollywood, you know, they're going through that. I know that Gen AI is, is, is got to be part of those negotiations for writers, for instance. Where does, where does kind of Gen AI leave off and creators begin in a way? Well, I mean, I'll tell you what I think. I, I think it lowers the barrier for anyone to create, but in doing so, it raises substantially the bar for you to create something interesting or good. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, and that'll be where um, I think people are able to stand out in the same way they've always been. Um, but it, but there's going to be, uh, you know, way more people uh, stepping up to the plate and taking a swing at creating things uh, or even, even building uh, companies now is going to get easier, right? Um, but you're going to have to do something uh, more impactful, more meaningful, and more considered in order to stand out and like uh, and have uh, an impact. Uh, and so that that's like uh, my first take on what it means. Love to hear other people's takes. Yeah. So I I think uh, that uh, you know it is AI and the people, right? Are the people with and AI people first though, uh, and and it makes. People, I, th I think, I think Mark mentioned that you know people who do the coding they need to do SQL before they use the AI. Otherwise, they don't know whether the code is right or not. And similarly, a writer who knows who how to write well will understand that with the AI that you know they can they can write better. So what I, I see happening is that the good writers can get better if they use AI. If they don't use AI again, they'll be left behind. But the the people who are not writers, like John said will become writers too. So, you know, these the people who have the least skills as per studies uh, become equal to the good people right now. So the good people will have to embrace AI and get better by understanding that. So I, I see creativity getting a boost, but then it will be led by people with uh, and, and AI helping. Sounds like a challenge. Well, like yeah, a yeah. I mean, yeah. So challenges in, in terms of picking up AI, I mean, especially for people who are like, you know, in the creators and probably they don't want like the Hollywood writers. <laughs> so it's up to them to, you know, step up. Yeah. And just to echo kind of John's point, you know, we'd found with our own content marketers, you know, we're using chat GPT to sort of get over that blank page syndrome. Maybe do some of the research. Great. It can shorten your time to get the core 80%, but your knowledge is, what's that? What's that? 15 to 20%, that insight, hey, you know the market, you know the customer better than anyone. Your job is to spend more of your time on the insightful stuff, not just the mundane. Uh, and, and actually, to give another example, I was having dinner with a, uh, with a kind of a leading technology professor at, at Kellogg, and he was saying for his students, he now grades them and says, hey, look, use ChatGPT. I'm going to grade you on the incremental 15% because I know the output chat TPT is going to give to this question. I know all the variants you could hit the, like the redo. If I, I know what the basic 85% is, I'm grading you on the incremental insights that you provide. I think that's the bar, right? John talked about, it's going to, you know, that's the bar of expectations. Now spend your time finding the insights, the so what's to stand out. I think the, uh, one is the insight that you get out of experience. Uh, which is what uh, Cameron is suggesting. The other thing, uh, which you also did touch upon, um, is empathy, uh, because that's what the AI system misses. You have a target audience, you know what they want, you are able to empathize at an original creator. Now, you can through the AI system all you want, and it can help you find tune its content, but, um, you know, last 15% is where you come in and you ensure that there is empathy towards you. And that's, that's I think, the uh, uh, the magic of creating really good content. Of course, we are going to have a lot of lazy creators out there who are just going to queue in and get the first content out and they post it to the half post. But good creators are going to get better if they start partnering with AI. Um, you know, I, I think we're also early in seeing how good large language models are going to get. Um, and, and I think it'll be interesting to watch like, uh, where they eventually limit. Uh, and, you know, I, I expect them to, to get substantially better from where we're at today. 
Um, I didn't think anyone uh, can really say how much better before they start to level out. And so, um, you know, does it end up being the incremental? Like, I, I think today it's realistically like 40% of the content you have to put on top of it, or, or is it 10% um, that you can do that's differentiated? So uh, we'll have to um, we'll have to watch and see how that plays out. No, I was just going to add that I think at the end of the day, it depends on people what they accept, right? What do they accept as right? So for example, Google has come out and said that I don't care whether you use AI or not. As long as the content is good, I'll index it. Uh, and I think that's the same with people. Uh, people will go with what they see as the best and they will embrace it. So at the end of the day, it is, it is uh, you know, the people who will decide what is a good, good creative uh, output there.